Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we've got a response video of sorts with regards to Arch's reaction towards Total War Warhammer 3. And simply put, he's brought up some rather valid concerns when it comes to the handling that Creative Assembly has had towards the franchise. And not just Total War Warhammer, but the Total War franchise in general. The three main complaints being the upward spiral when it comes to the costs of the games for the player, the downward spiral when it comes to the complexity or continuing lack thereof within the franchise, and previously available features that have since become MIA, including both naval battles and proper siege battles, all of which are once again very valid complaints. In terms of cost, for example, we've went from the Total War Kingdoms expansion pack for Medieval 2, which was essentially four completely different games rolled up into one package in the same engine, to each of the three Total War Warhammer games costing $60 a piece, and at the same time having boatloads of DLC for each game, which you need to buy all of if you want to have everything available to you in the third game. Even if we were talking about just the three games alone, that is $180. And if you're buying them all just to get the complete experience in Total War Warhammer 3, then that is an absolutely absurd amount of money. So absurd, in fact, that I have a great little comparison for you all. For you see, there was once a video game bundle out there for another franchise that specifically mocked its own absurd extreme costs. The so-called Divorce Pack Bundle for Storm Eagle Studios for their Distant Guns and Jutland games. And to this day, the Divorce Pack Bundle is still expensive, albeit typically on sale now. But here's the thing, even at full price, that bundle was still cheaper than buying all three of the Total War Warhammer games. And that's before you consider the fact that the Divorce Pack Bundle included the DLC, while just buying the Total War Warhammer games does not. In other words, when it comes to their pricing, Creative Assembly has officially reached the territory where what was at one time a farcical absurdity is now to be treated as an expected reality. And I'll be honest, even though I'm not the most hyped for Total War Warhammer 3 myself, I was willing to defend the game a little bit on the grounds that I'm not quite as pessimistic about the future as Arch. But thinking the situation over in particular for new players, there is simply no defending the current price model by Creative Assembly. At bare minimum, they do need to drastically reduce the price of the original first two games, as well as of course the DLC, because otherwise the fandom is not going to be able to get new players in in the first place, simply due to the fact that asking $180 just for three games from a person is simply not reasonable, especially given the current current circumstances, and also especially given the fact that the first two games are mainly being purchased to access additional content in the third one. Hopefully Creative Assembly can be brought to reason that at bare minimum they desperately need to lower the price of the first two games. But unfortunately, I do believe that it's going to take more than just Arch to get the word out and try to actually get the situation changed for the better. So I guess what I'm saying is that if you, dear viewer, happen to watch other channels that are centered around the Total War franchise, then perhaps you should ask them to provide their own thoughts on the matter, especially if you believe they feel the same way that Arch and myself do on this. Hopefully Creative Assembly will actually have enough sense to lower the prices, but unfortunately we can only wait and see on that. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.